Very smart people, right? They believe AI will kill everybody. That's not a, that's not a, it, it, it may seem crazy as a joke, but it's, it's a possibility because AI can be, you can see it as a savior or you can see it as the greatest weapon against humanity, mm -hmm. right? Greater than the atomic bomb, right? Because if you create something that's smarter than you, right? You don't, you can't predict it at that point. Yeah. Right. So the idea of a singularity is crazy, but more so the idea of these computers continuing gaining processing power. And the way you can look at this is this. So if you look at the error level between ChatGPT one, two, three and four. Right. They're significantly different. So a lot of people, you got 100 million people that just hopped on it. But the error level and like the first versions of ChatGPT was high somewhere, sometimes like 50 to 80 percent. But you think it's true because they don't have to cite uh, sources or references. So most of America and most of the world, they have a, a, I will say, it's not the highest IQ. So you don't know when a person is bullshitting you or not, right? So AI can be BSing you. So, you know, imagine if you go, if, if you only allow the world to get ChatGPT1 and you have ChatGPT4, right? Where his accuracy is 80% and one is 20%. Right. So it don't matter if you have AI, if you have a better AI than everybody else. So what these countries are going to do and, and, and you know, uh, we can talk about the, uh, the chips and how, you know, the chip supremacy plays into this as well, because yeah. that's a big piece to this whole entire puzzle is the fact that countries are going to be vying for greater processing power and AI would allow human beings to finally achieve quantum computing to a point where the processing power is so great, it can run every single idea we ever thought of. And it's going to be advancing the human race beyond our own capabilities, meaning that or just the fact that it may have taken us 100 years and it may take the computer one year to get done because it can process way more things and it has access to everything. So once it goes live online and it's pulling from millions of pieces of data and it can sort that data out, and it can see things that the average person does not see, or not even just that they won't see, but every scientist that's working on something don't have access to every piece of information in the world, hmm. right? So human beings have collected a massive array of data and information, and you're just going to feed that to AI and say, solve this problem, and it's going to do that. I mean, there have even been cases, I'm sure you guys saw it, where um, breast cancer was detected four years ahead of time. Um, this is the reason why NVIDIA has been shooting up so much the last three or four weeks. Um, and once that quantum computer comes into place, look at what, what they'll be able to do with crypto, uh, NFT creation, customized movies. Like this is the race. Like internet right. was the big thing for the 90s. Chips and automation is going to be the key for now through probably 2036. Um, it's the most important invention probably out of the last 30 or 40 years. Um, yeah. even with chat GPT, it's the app that I use the most on my phone and computer. And it's probably the cheapest product I've ever used. Um, same like video AI is one of my favorites. It's number one for me. Notion is a note taking app. UI Zard is like a user interface. So you can like create a user interface for an app in like five minutes. And chat GPT writer is a Google Chrome extension where it can like go through and write all of your emails and reply back for you in less than two minutes. Um, I've never seen a technology like this. Like Siri was amazing when it came out. I'm really mad that Apple didn't buy this uh, technology early enough, um, but I'm glad that Microsoft did. But NVIDIA is gonna be a player to be dealt with for sure in the space for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. NVIDIA is powering the AI race. Yeah, I'm glad you said Siri, because when you do the search on it, if you look at the best AI applications, Siri is always the top one. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to what you were saying, Keys. Like, it's been a process of over 50 years. We, they've been implementing it for 50 years to the point where it's like, oh, this is not a surprise. You were ready for this this moment. So, so like, mm -hmm. when you think about Siri, and last week we spoke about Alexa, and we spoke about how some other things that are, are being implemented, it was like, wait, this isn't new. Mm -hmm. But this the format that, that is now being presented in is to us. And so, I, I like you said, like, the, the chip space is important. But it, it, it makes me think about, when, maybe a couple of months ago when we were talking about Taiwan mm -hmm. and importance from that, from, from a, a geopolitical standpoint, do we, do we need to even put more emphasis on the situation that's happening here with Taiwan? Absolutely. If, if what they're saying, this is 
the semis will be the leader of the future. Keys, you want to go first? I think you try, man. To, I'm coming in. I'll just no, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take the four. But if 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 you understand, you know, the way NVIDIA is building out their chips and the importance of chips in this race for AI supremacy, mm -hmm. then you can understand the motives on why certain chess moves need to be made now. Mm -hmm. Right. So the timeline for countries to take more risky bets. Right. Is saying that we can't wait another three to five years because AI has changed everybody's timeline because scientists were thinking maybe 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. And all those predictive markers are being reset and readjusted based on what they're seeing that's happening with ChatGPT4. Mm -hmm. Right. And with ChatGPT5 arrives everything changes. They already are scared of ChatGPT4, but that gonna have to arrive based on these new chips being able to process, right? So when we look at what was happening in the China, they talking about they were building out, you know, um, 7G to 10G, why? That was part of the technological AI race. We know in the way that the landscape is set up right now, whoever wins the tech race controls the world, right? Because they set the standards for all technologies that come out and you know what will be used so we're seeing the great quickening of society as you know chips become cheaper to be able to make through these new processes that nvidia has with the lithography and all of the light and the way that they're um you know embedding these chips which is an amazing process when you kind of just look at it but that can only be done by ai right and so of course the chip race is the piece that most people are not seeing, but it's a motive on why the global players have to make their moves now because they want to have dominance for, you know, time dominance for the next 100 years. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop.